Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle. Thanks for joining me as I continue my playthrough of Darkest Dungeon. Um, last time we lost, uh, we completed our mission, but we did lose our highwayman, which is unfortunate because I do like that character class. Uh, so we will be on the lookout for one of those to arrive on the next stagecoach after we complete our next mission. I went ahead and took care of all of our stress relief and even organized uh, the party that I'm going to take out on this next mission. So we are ready to go. So where are we going is the question. So the wheel just leveled up to one. I do have a couple of unleveled heroes here, so I'm going to go to the Warrens. It's a short mission. Same thing as we've been seeing, complete 100% of room battles. And we're going to take uh, Pennant, Sydney, Barasa, who's our newest team member, our uh, bounty hunter, and Baudry, our healer, um, who we kind of basically made the same as Dudley. Kind of found that ability set that we liked and picked it. So off we go. Uh, short mission, so not going to need a lot of food and stuff. Kind of had that had a weird thing happen with my food last time where I had to I had a hunger situation, but it said I didn't have enough food, but I did. So I'm not real clear on what happened there. I actually haven't gone back and watched that video to see what happened. So we'll get 10 food. Uh, we'll take two shovels. I don't know that we'll need that many. Take some bandages. Uh, and we'll take just eight torches, I think. Ten food, eight torches. All right. Yep, that should be good. So the Warrens, it says here, is full of disease and blight in equal measure. Come prepare to deal with sickness, uh, of which we did neither. Uh, we brought bandages, but we didn't bring any medicine or uh, anti-venom, so... That's probably not going to go well for us. Oh, well. Would have been nice to know that before we provision for our adventure, but... They breed away we go. down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. All right. So 100% of room battles. Terrible layout because we're going to have to go up to these two first just to make sure there's nothing there and then come back, which is going to mean extra stress as we make our way back down but those are procedurally generated so it, you know it's completely random what the layouts are going to be so it's there's not much you can do to help it all right let's go for a stun on this guy he likes to put bleeds on us he's stunned which is great so let's see, I haven't played this class much yet. I thought I took that off. I gotta start paying more attention. I know we had it picked to the face, but I saw, thought we took something else off instead. Maybe we need to move her. We'll take a look at that. Um, but we are gonna go to attack this person in the back. They dodge. The dodges continue for our characters for whatever reason. We're dodging too, so I guess I can't complain too much. So, she tried to pull him. Well, he's all good. But he's probably also good from the third. Yeah. No, he needs to be where he is, so we'll have to relook at that person. So, does this do any damage? Only does one damage, but it stuns them and shuffles them. This marks someone, which is kind of cool. So, he'll mark them this turn, and then. Uh, if they're tagged, like we're, it says we're here, he'll collect that bounty. So I'm actually going to try that. I'm going to try to mark her. And then that'll be his target the next time around. So is this guy still stunned? Let's see if we just can't get a kill on this. <laughs> Excellent. Singular strike. Now that is beautiful. Alright, so his stun wears off. Um, we'll try a pick to the face. Pretty good. Um, we'll try to stun again and do some damage. So we should get a kill here with our bounty hunter. Now that, yeah, oh, nice, 40 crit. Wow. So for two turns and he can do that, I'll take it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. And we pick up an extra torch.
Nice pile of rubble. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Still got our full chance of surprise, so no need to use torches here, and there were no enemies in this room anyway. So we'll go on up to this top room here. Another torch. I'll take. I don't believe anything bad can happen when you take a torch. Maybe. And there was a trap that we didn't know about. She did resist the bleed though. Just stressed her out a bit, which is okay. Let's pop. Use some torches here to get that plus to surprise. Here we go. And Nevada. Ooh, look at these guys. A swine chopper. We did surprise them, so that's good. So big, uh... Big beefy guy, 24 health. So we may have our bounty hunter deal with him if he can. Let's actually see. Oh, I can't. Can mark. Yeah, he can. So we'll probably be doing that. Swine wretch and the cultist. Um, let's try pick to the face on the swine wretch. I don't know what they do. I'm assuming plague and stuff. So we'll, uh, we should get a, we should be able to get a kill here. With judgment. Nice. And that also heals us too. Faint hope blossoms. So yeah, we're going to mark the chopper. He is marked. So we'll have her just hit this guy. Or, um, and let's, let's do that again. She doesn't need the heal, but it's a nice damage attack bleed out. We got bandages though, so that's okay. Uh, let's have her do pick to the face. Oh, we shuffle those guys around, which is cool. I think we're okay still. I don't want to use pick to the face because it's just over. It's it's wasted damage, so try it on this enemy in the back here. Now, let's see. No, oh, just 16. Not the 40 I was hoping for, but you know. Um, yeah, we're going to get you a bandage on your turn uh, right now. So we should be able to get some kills. Can I get to that back character at all? Yeah, so let's do that. Rest this advantage. Give them no quarter. Because everything else should die. So that's probably a bleed. She resisted it though. Another butcher cut coming in. He did get the bleed. Let's just go for all-out damage. I'm going to get a heal on him just because he has that bleed. It might tick again, so... Just to kind of counteract the effects of that. And we'll do a uh, pick to the face. And a dodge. He's going to try to bleed us. We resist it. Alright, we'll torch and uh just have an attack all right borasa what a great name this expedition yeah we got a bandage promises success. excellent because we used two in that fight so now we have to go back here and you do have to actually walk back through and you do take stress for doing this just for going backwards I'm not sure why i think it's just a mechanic so here we go again. We have this eat. Yeah, I don't know what happened last time. So if you know what happened, just let me know in the comments. Um, we are taking extra stress just anyway, so I'm going to keep it well lit. We have plenty of torches, so I should probably start bringing even less because we always seem to find some. So we're back to where we started, so now we just have to find the rest of the room battles in the remaining rooms. And we're doing okay. I mean, she's got a little bit of low health, but she has so much health anyway. And she has six more health. Hunger again. Hmm. Going through the food. Do you have that weird, uh... No? What about you? Ooh. No bleed though, that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll open this. Get the 
full surprise chance. Spiders. So low health. Oh, they did get surprised. Awesome. Low health. I'm imagining green ones probably do some sort of blight attack and the red ones bleed. But let's just try to get rid of them. Oh, so you can actually cure blight and bleed. Nice. Throne daggers. We can do four to eight. Oh. She got a buff. Oh, so she get accuracy just for using her daggers? Interesting. I want to try to take out the stuff in the back. Oh man, the dodges! Three dodges in a row. Do these guys have a high dodge? They have 12 dodge. That's pretty high. Okay, interesting. Alright, well, um, let's go for some stuns. I got a crit. With impunity. Nice. A devastating blow. So yep. Yeah. So he did a blight. Oh, spit. Crit. Reeling. About yeah. to break. Yeah. I have nothing to heal that with. Let's go for the dagger attack again. She's getting more and more accurate. Um stun. Good. Nice. Alright, we'll get this unstunned one here. Nice crit from a heroin. I wouldn't mind, yeah, that's good, because I did I did want to get a heal. She can heal that, I think. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Alright, so I'm gonna use this toxin trickery. Failed. Brilliant. Remind yourself that overcome. We got a book of rage and insidious killer. Which is nice. And another bleed stone. Book of rage. 15% damage, more speed, or less accurate. I might uh give that to her. Give you this bleed stone. And take all and Highwoman's got the most health, so you're going to open that. Nothing bad. We got a skeleton key. I wish we could use it on that. And another blight stone chance to blight skills. It's unfortunate you can't, you can only use your skills in combat, so they're going to take damage as we roll through. Uh, but these skeleton keys that we just picked up, you can use them on these, and sometimes you unlock like hidden compartments and stuff, so. Got our scouting chance here. Treasure, 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 trap. Wow. Lots of treasure. That is awesome. So we're going to have three. And I say treasure, that just means interactive objects. So it's not always good stuff. So hers fell off. We'll have him do this. More treasure. What is this? This is a moonshine barrel. Let's give it a shot. It's completely empty. Feh he says. And this is, uh, what? A pile of scrolls? Oh, I'm gonna have my magic user do that. Scrolls forever changed the hero. She became a ruins tactician. So she picked up this, which was in the dungeon called ruins. She has extra damage, which is nice. And then here's a trap. So once again, 10% disarm. And I, you can check that right here. 30% disarm for bounty hunter. 40% for, uh, and 30. Okay, so let's see if I can do this right. So it's you. Um, Alright, and disarmed. Excellent. So let's use some torches. Get the double surprise bonus, and in we go. Nothing in here. Got more scouting. So there's the last combat room. So we are going to have to go through the whole thing. I'm not sure what this... I think this is like a... just means there's an interactive object in that room. It's not necessarily treasure, but I'm not positive. So let's go. Got combat in the second position of this room. And man, we are getting very lucky with the surprises this time, which is good because we haven't been so far. 
Again, these fusiliers are dangerous, so I'm going to take them out. But we're going to try the old marked and attack later attack on the big guy here, because that is really cool. Bleed on him? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and heal. Just because she's hurt. At least no crits from that. That's my biggest worry from that attack is the crits. So we'll try the daggers again. Actually, can we do pick to the face on the second character? Nice. Um, what can you do with this? We can probably kill this thing. Excellent. And then, come on, bounty hunter. Claim your bounty. Ooh. Oh, that pushes you back, too. Interesting. All right, let's see what we do. Nice. Oh, man, that is so good. It's so Perhaps worth waiting. Turning point. He's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> a bleed charm, so you're resistant to bleed and you take less damage. Or you're, you know, lower critical chance. We'll give that to her. All right. Um, let's see, what else did we have here? Just interactive objects, we'll take that. Oh yeah, I need to make some changes here. So let's move you back to here. Take the torch. Uh, we'll have him do this. Empty. And let's burn some torches. And yeah, we definitely overspent on torches. I think I only bought like eight. We picked up so many. Hold up, she says. Huh, that was weird. Never seen that before. All right, vomit, gross. It's just a stressful attack. Crit, resisted something. I don't know what that would have done. All right, so let's see if we can kill kill this vomiter because stress, like stress, is the worst thing you can get. Um, and we're gonna try the same old tactic here: mark for death, and then come back around and kill him. I'm going to assume some enemies are resistant to being marked, because that is really overpowered, if not. Push, she's going to push me back. She resisted it, though, which is great. All right. Um, let's go for the kill, because I don't think we can hit. Yeah, we can. Um, let's do it. Uh, let's go for a stun. Just to keep him from attacking us while he's marked for death. So she doesn't. Oh man, we're resisting those eldritch pulls and pushes, which is great. Nice crit there. And the stress relief rolls on down the line, which is amazing. And here we go. Just 14, but I'll take it. Another bleed coming in. We got bandages though, so we're okay. We'll, we'll definitely use the bandage when it comes up. We'll go. We'll get a heal off. Let's do a party heal. Uh, I, don't, I guess that wasn't my party heal. Yep, you're gonna get your bandage. Don't worry. There's your bandage. Let's uh, let's try to start willing down this guy here because I think we can take this swine chopper out. It's one down. And pick to the face on to take care of this guy. Excellent. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right, what is this thing? This is a sacrificial stone, a stone used for ancient barbaric rituals. Hmm. Well, can we put a torch on it? The item had no effect. Um, I don't want to, yeah, you know what, unless I come up on a box, eh, I'll just interact, it's probably bad. A sinful behavior, oh, nice, okay. So she had deviant taste, so it said, you know, she couldn't go to the brothel, so that took it off. Interesting, okay, I'm sure it can give you bad traits as well, though, so. Alright, so we got an interactive, a battle, a trap, and our final room, so away we go. Pretty well lit, what is this thing? This is a pile of bones. Uh, you have the most health, so you get to deal with that. 
strangely fascinated, bloodthirsty. That makes him fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to do. It'll be interesting to see what he does with that. Again, another very fortunate surprise. Um, let's see. Again, these guys are the worst. I mean, these dudes put bleeds and stuff on us, but let's try a pick to the face. Let's do an actual party hill this time. Um, I don't think we're going to need to... Does this actually do damage? It does. Let's try it. Ah, dodge. Hmm. Uh, we can get a kill here. And a hill. Pick to the face. Let's see, this does 4 to 8. Pick to the face also does 4 to 8. Higher chance to crit with this one though, so let's do that. Didn't get the crit, but then she gets a buff for using it too. Good dodge. Um, let's go for the one with his health and get the kill. And we should get a kill here as well. Excellent. This is a pretty good mix. I, I need to change up her abilities a little bit better. But a victory nonetheless. Because she can't use this lunge unless she's in the back, so we may need it. We want to get rid of that. We got holy water to purge evil and restore purity. Huh. I don't know what that does. Maybe some kind of disease heal. So here's our trap, and it was you. So we're gonna. She didn't do it though. Curious is the it's got a bleed. I think we have bandages. Is efficacy uh, on no, we do not have bandages. Eyes. We used them all. All right. Well, that's not good. All right. Well, here we go. Last room. Let's uh, let's get all the way up. In let's radiance, get it really good. may we find victory. I don't know why she took stress there. We just lit the room. All right. So stressful attack being vomited on, as you can imagine. I haven't seen this guy, Swine Drummer. She's bleeding, so she can actually cure that, so we're going to do that. Nice. All right. Uh, let's take a look here. So here's a big guy. I want to see if I can... I don't know what this guy does. A drummer. So I'm assuming he, he's like a support class, like he buffs them. Let's see. Or debuffs us. Drums of debilitation. So Oh, so he marks us. Interesting. All right, well, we're marking the good old swine chopper. Um, let's throw out a party heal. So ball and chain. I think that... Oh, it's a stun, okay. More stress. How quickly the tide turns. Oh, and that stresses everybody out, too. Wow. Okay. Um, I want to get this vomiter nice. <laughs> Oh, did that sting? Alright. So he's gonna do this drums of doom on us again. Stresses. Okay, so he's just a bunch of. So we wanna take him out as well, but he is about to die. He's got one health and he takes it, so we're not gonna waste attacks on him. Um, let's hit this guy. Ugh. I don't think this guy's done much to us the whole time. Alright, let's see. Come on, Barasa. Not 40, but good. We'll take it. Oh, it can blight us. So this is a stun, I believe. To resist it. Alright. Um, let's go for some kills. Good kill. You're gonna kill. Uh, let's go stun. Since it does have a lot of health. Good amount of damage, though, which is nice. It resisted it. But, doing really well in stress. I mean, I would not send any of these in their current conditions out for stress reduction. Alright, let's kill the big guy. And we should be able to win right now. And that should do it for this mission, I believe. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. 
All right, so we had to actually go to every room, but we did complete the mission. Um, I believe she had this much stress coming in and didn't take any, or we had enough, you know, pluses and minuses to kind of balance it out. And everyone else stayed relatively under stress. So I think if we tweak her, uh, we could take these this group out on another mission, um, which I like this team, actually. Some experiments so. should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. So yeah, another thing that happens in this game is as you play through it, the narrator sort of reveals what exactly is happening. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on because I believe at the beginning of the game, uh, the narrator wrote uh, a letter inviting us here as he was dying. So I thought he had died, but maybe not. Maybe he just ran away. So we're better off in the wheel as far as stresses, you know. So here's this food uh, thing I was talking about. So anytime their stress is above 50, they eat 100% more food. And uh, he's got stress faster. Oh, wait. Oh, huh. It's not stress faster. It's like fasting, like not eating. So these kind of balance each other out. So basically nothing happened with that. It's fine. It means I don't have to worry spend any money dealing with it. And she's more resistant to being moved around by those pushes and pull attacks, which is great. So let's see. So Ross reduced his stress. He's down to having just two squares, which is good. Rames is down to three, which is okay. I'd ri I wish that would be more. We're up to 11,000 gold, though, which is awesome. All right. Uh... We still... Oh, we did unlock the sanitarium now, which is nice. Maybe we unlocked that last time, because when you unlock something normally, you get an exclamation point. Uh, and we got something for our leper. So let's go ahead and give that to him. Gets more accuracy, more crit. 12% decrease to damage. Um, well, that's fine, If I think, if he... Has more crit. I like crit. I'm always, you know, in any games where crit is a stat that you can uh, stack, I typically do. Let's see who arrived this week. So we got another one of these. Let's see what she has. Because I would like her to be a second position player. I just like to look at them. Yeah, so this one could be... I don't know, I gotta look at that because I could have swore I made her a second position player. I don't want any more grave robbers though. I don't think. Um, but I do want another bounty hunter. Or I'm sorry, a, a crusade. Mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Can't get any upgrades there. Um Let's take care of Dudley's stress. What is she? So she can't gamble, which is fine. So let's throw her. So he's in the brothel, so, but she can go to the bar. Can I upgrade the tavern at all? Yeah. And I can reduce the cost. I'm going to do that. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. All right. Still not going to worry about leveling up anybody's weapons. I'll kind of wait for him to get to level 2, I think, before I do that. Um, but I don't think we're going to deal with anyone else's stress. I mean, Baudry is, you know, I would, but I want to take her out again on the next mission, so I'm going to leave her there. Um, let's just take a look at what we can do. So we've got, so this place is leveling up. So you have to c clear a path to the boss. I don't know when that happens, but so we've got another short mission here. We've got wield, uh, short, and a medium. And medium missions you camp in, which we'll get into when we do that. All right, but that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.